I find this building really strange. It's intriguing. Yeah. There's lots of little bits that don't make sense. Good morning. And oh no, it's afternoon. Is it? Good afternoon and welcome to the south of France. Yes. Yeah. We've come down, we're heading towards the sunshine. And today we are... Saint Remy de, Saint -Remy de Provence. Saint Remy de Provence. And we're <laughs> going to take the, we've got the boys with us. And we're going to take the two doggies for a, a bit of a stroll. And there's stuff in the village you want to see. Yeah. Yeah. Not quite what I expected though, I don't know why. What did you expect? I don't know. More Roman. To explain, we've come into this region because you really like the Roman stuff. I do. And okay. there's a lot around here. Yeah. Originally the plan was because we'd come down from Anansi, Anansi? Anansi. Anansi. Came down south and came get to a place called Avignon, didn't we? Yeah. And being blunt, it wasn't quite what we thought it was going to be. The Citadel, we, we saw it from the outside, looks amazing from the outside, but the inside seemed really modern, and there were a lot of warnings about crime. The fact that it said there were so many break-ins of motorhomes on a daily basis, mm. and nowhere seemed to have a, yes, it's safe to park here thing on it, the last thing we want to do, even with the dogs with us, the cats are still in the camper. You don't want somebody to break in, leave yeah. a door open, and us have to spend the next three years looking for Spud again. <laughs> Beautiful but insane. Yeah. So uh, we know a couple of subscribers um, go on about the prices of properties and stuff. Go back These and show the first are two. Huge. I mean, one and a half million, two and a half million. They're lovely. Two million with a private pool. Mm -hmm. The yeah. cheapest one was 390,000 for this 50 square meters. This is not meters. cheap to live here. Not cheap at all. Look, a two bedroom place for 50 square meters for 390,000. That was the size of our toilet. <laughs> <laughs> but look at these two. I mean, that one, that's so Romanesque. Yeah. But yeah, right. two we and won't be living million. here, darling, so let's move along because no, we indeed just, we will not. We can't even afford the, afford the toilet. <laughs> no. Well, this is quite cool. So we've got like a little maze of alleyways and stuff. This is beautiful. Lots of shops, though. Yes. I'm shocked how many shops. Most of the, the ground floors have been turned into shops. However, I've just realised we haven't actually mentioned what um, this town is famous for. What is it famous for? We haven't explained or said what this town is famous for. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. No, we haven't. No. <laughs> the artist Vincent van Gogh. Yeah. He wasn't born here, was he? But he wasn't he was born here, I don't think, but he spent the end part of his life in the area. Locked up in the, the, what do they call it, the asylum. But he did most of his famous pieces here. Yes, here and hereabouts. Yeah. And we've seen a few of them, like little representations of where he painted them in and around the town. Yeah, although the one that was up there, a little bit loose, because it was a picture of a hay field with a hay bale, and it was in the middle of the village. Mm. So how yeah. they know that it was painted there, I'm not entirely sure, but... Ooh. Oh, yeah. This is... Um... This is just... Perfection. Oh, that's a museum. Yes, it is. And that is the Hotel de Sade. This here? Yeah. Being what? Well, you'll have heard of the Marquis de Sade, the dodgy. Oh, this is the, the, the guy the... with weird fetishes. He's, well, his name is Sade and Ist on the end. I'm not sure if we'll get a YouTube strike if I actually say the word. <laughs> so, this is a home of his ancestor. Right. Um, 
obviously they kind of put the link to him here. Yeah. So he's not actually really anything to do Donatian. with him directly. I don't believe. Don no. Donatian, the Marquis de Sade, um, what's his name? There's no proof that he actually came here at any point in his life, but that belongs to his family. Gotcha. Seemed like the village. Yeah. Plan now, if I'm right, get back to the van. Half hour walk. Half hour walk to where? Back home. Oh, to the van, yeah. Yeah. But then we're moving the van to the next location and try and also find somewhere else to sleep tonight. Potentially, yes. To see more Roman stuff or proper Roman proper stuff. Proper Roman in the, stuff in the tomorrow, morning. Yeah. yeah. Right. We'll either see you back at the mm -hmm. van at the next location or. Tomorrow morning. Oh, the Roman stuff. That Roman stuff. Sounds so well planned, doesn't it? <laughs> Hi. 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 Good morning. Morning. It's the next morning. We've managed to find a uh, quite a nice park up here. It's lovely. It was uh, so we come up in the hills. Would you say yeah. a mountain hills? Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of on the edge of the Alps. What we've got to do now is we've got a two minute drive back down the hill to a Roman city. Yeah, Archaeological Roman settlement. Site. So, slight change of plan. Yeah. We're gonna go see the Roman thing in a second because five minutes walk further down the hill yeah. is the, the, the crazy hospital. <laughs> where you Vin put it so nicely. Vincent van Gogh. It's a psychiatric hospital and still is. This is where Vincent van Gogh spent his last year yeah. before leaving and Yeah, we were saying, saying yesterday, by the way, about the, the paintings, and here's an example. So there's one of his paintings, of the and piece. this is where he painted it. Explain to me, this is where, this building here, is where Vincent van Gogh... I think that's it. That piece? I think. I'm not sure, because it was all kind of lumped into one. Gotcha. Um, obviously, the, the, the part that's still the, the psychiatric ward, it did say that some of it was open to the public and some of it wasn't, and you had to... Uh, respect the silence kind of thing. Okay, so I'll have to just go in and find out. We'll have to wing it. And so we've uh, paid to come into the uh, inner sanctum of uh, <laughs> Van Gogh. Eight euros a person, not cheap. Not cheap, no. We're presuming that all of these paintings are copies of Van Gogh's work. Yeah. Considering they're worth millions now, aren't they? Oh, I... See, I don't get that. Because apparently, I don't know if you know where it is, apparently Van Gogh's couldn't give his paintings away. They were worth nothing. Until he died. And so someone decides they're worth away. millions. Yeah. A lot of struggling artists in those days would try to pay for food and stuff with them and couldn't. But surely they're either good or not. I don't know. I struggle with that. This feels a little eerie. Mm. This is actually... This is actually Van Gogh's bedroom. What it says on the wall. And out of this window, he painted a starry light. Oh, wow. I know that painting. That's a mm. famous one. It is. I think it's really sad yeah. that he came here looking for help, brought himself here, spent a year here trying to get help for his mental health and um, decided to end things mm. when he left, which is really sad. OK. <laughs> it was interesting. Really sad. 
Ian was very sad, but I don't know if that was worth eight euros a person to see basically Van Gogh's room. Next stop, Roman stuff. Garden. This is the start of Galanum. It's part of it, I believe, yeah. We've parked further up the road that way because apparently this car park is five euros an hour, which seems really a excessive a for a dust steep. bowl. Yeah. A little steep. That's another nine euros each. However, yeah, but for nine euros, this seems this is always a whole be worth different it. league. Because, uh, yeah, it looks a really large site, doesn't it? Yeah. This is big. Yeah, I think. This is huge. That's a beautiful picture, though, with Isn't the, it just? the Roman settlement and then the mountains or the hills behind. Right. Come on. Oh. Let's go. Why? What's the rush? <laughs> I know it's been here for, you know, thousands of years and it's not going anywhere, yeah. but... So this is the main street here. Yeah. See, I love that. I love the fact that this, up here, you can imagine like hustle and bustle and carts and yep. Roman People. centurions walking up and down the street. Yep. Apparently this is the Dromos well, which owes its name to the stair entrance way or Dromos leading to the water. <laughs> you get to see the thing in all its glory. Oh, yes. I'm ready. Awesome, let's go. Right, morning, by the way. We're oh, um, in Arles. <laughs> um, last night, not a good night's mm, sleep. No. Found a car park that was by a shopping centre where they turned around and said it was really quiet and really <laughs> peaceful. It was a Friday night, to be fair. Yeah. All the, basically, I think every under the age of 20 individual within 100 kilometers here came and parted in the car park last night. Any house. We're old. Let's go and see some old Roman stuff. <laughs> go see some older stuff. Yeah. Prices for today. Everything we're going to see today has got its own price. It but has. We've bought a group ticket, would you call it? Yeah, it's like a... Buy one, get in everything for the one price. Yeah, it's like a, a part of the various bits of the city. Yeah. And it was 19 euros per person. Yep. Which worked out substantially cheaper than doing it individually. Yep. And the pass is actually valid for six months. So if we don't get to do everything today, we can come back next time we're passing, which will yeah. be end of summer. Yeah. When we're heading towards Turkey. But you still only get to visit one place for a, a place once. So you don't, it's not a, a a six month pass where you can come and go as often as you please. What is our first thing of today then? Well, I'm not entirely sure how you pronounce it, but it's in English it would be Alice Camps. Alice Camp. Yeah. <laughs> Alice Camp with a Y. Yeah. Um, it's basically what's left is one Roman road mm. um, with sarcophagi either side, but back in the day um, this was kind of like the cemetery to be placed in. Yeah. Um, Van Gogh painted it. Van Gogh from yesterday, yeah? Yes. Yeah. And just called it I Alice don't know Camps. why I just said Van Gogh from yesterday, like there's more than one Van Gogh that everyone knows. No, no. <laughs> Van Gogh from yesterday, not the other one. <laughs> I did notice that yesterday we were calling Van Gogh. Van Gogh. And, and today, this That's morning we called him Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yeah. Yes, Van Gogh. <laughs> right. So let's go have a have a go snout. Head off. Yeah. The, Down the this Roman way, then. road looks fairly impressive. Yeah, and so does this building to be fair. Ooh. 
we can do an open door. We haven't had an open door for a few videos. We haven't, no. And inside this place is... Yeah. Very old Roman stuff. Yeah. You know what I was saying about churches and chapels being ornate? Yeah. Not so much. This is neither. No. But it's very... I was going to say stunning, but... <laughs> <laughs> the thing that does annoy me is that you've clearly still got lots of scratched graffiti from various years. Yeah. Some, is it Mar Marius or something from 1823? It's proper old stuff, but there has clearly been reprobates for many, many years. There's a, a lot of coffins down here, or Grace. sarcophagi, or whatever you call them. They're scattered all the way down here, and this is not a short piece of road. No. And then you've got these uh, like monument things kind of all the way down here. And little mausoleum bits. Yeah. Because this is where the posh people were buried. I see. Whereas the, the poor people just dumped in holes. I presume we've got to go down here, by the way. I'm guessing. So what's this like a chapel then at the end? This is a, a church for, oh, Horatus, did I say? I don't know. So, can we get in? I don't know, I assume so. There's doors there, was... there, but they seem to be shut, I think. Well, I think you have to go that way through the archway. Do you think round the corner here? Yeah, but having checked, it's not Horatus, it's Honoratus. Well, that's blocked off, so we're not getting in there. However, actually, this door is open. Is it? Yeah. Awesome. That's not really going to make much difference, I don't think. Wow. That's quite freaky. I'm assuming it's pigeons cooing. Oh, is it pigeons? I thought it was people talking. Is that coming out on the mic? I don't know if you guys can hear this. I, must, I, I think it was like doves or pigeons cooing, but it sounded like it's ancient the voices. <laughs> it's the it didn't, spirits. It didn't sound like actual talking, talking, but yeah, I reckon. Is it huge? It's sizable. Got some stained glass there. Stained glass? Yeah. Or no Look, again, touchy. Here. Oh, yeah. Stained glass there, but the one I was talking about oh, just here was at the back there. Oh, yeah. Gosh, this is really plain, but really impressive. I think it's the size of everything. I mean, these columns are immense. They are enormous. Wow. Oh, there's stairs down, by the way, to something. Very damp. Very damp and... Foisty. Is it foisty? Musty. It smells of... No. No, it doesn't. Does it not you... smell of pee? <laughs> no, it doesn't. What's down here, it precious? It smells of pee to me. No, it just smells like... Damp dungeon. <laughs> Ooh. Hold on. Come along, torch. Hold on. What? What's this? Oh, I didn't see that. I just saw the blocked off wall. Ooh, where does that go? Torch on. Let's uh, go see. Oh, there's light. Oh, there is light. Where's this going? Ooh. Oh, this is cool. Yeah. Very cold. Oh. <laughs> oh, does it just go up into the corner yeah. of where we were? It's just brought us ah. literally back up into the, uh, ah. the previous room, the big room. This is weird. Yeah. I find this building really strange. It's intriguing. Yeah. There's lots of little bits that don't make sense and... It feels a bit like, I don't know, 
Indiana Jones National Treasure weird stuff going on. <laughs> You've got the tomb yeah. with the upside down cross and the guardians on each corner and stuff. I said it kind of like they're trying to stop some mass evil getting out of it or something. You've got this building behind us where every window and entrance is been Locked. concreted up. And then there's yeah. another tomb we found where it's almost like a code on the wall in shields with like dom what are those, like dominoes, mm. different number of dots and stuff. Yeah. It's really strange. Hold that thought, come this way. What's that? That looks like the uh, Illuminati. Uh, Freemasony type thing. Compass, compass? No, not compass. What is it? The measuring thing. Sexton. Well, that's enough freaky freakiness Weird for stuff. today. Yeah. <laughs> Let's um, head on into the town and yeah. see the next thing. Go see the other stuff. Yeah. So this is not the way in. This is not what we're looking for, but it's a nice find. Well, it kind of is. Yeah. It's, it's the courtyard of the cloisters, but I thought you could actually get in to the building. I mean, that bit, I think, is a hotel, but I thought you could get in this bit and there's another kind of courtyard, the other side of this door. There's actually a sign saying we yes. can go in here. Yes. So is this a freebie? Because it's actually um, a ticket office or is this part no, of our... No, this is part of our, our ticket, I think. Ooh. There we go. That's the bit I was trying to get us to. Yeah, that's that's really pretty. That's cool. Very pretty. Yeah. But look above your head. Yeah. It's painted. Yeah. Whereas none of the others are. Oh yeah. And there's a. Uh, another shield behind you, which clearly had a painting around it at some point as well. Yeah. Why would they just decorate one corner? Don't know. But it's obviously got some kind of, I don't know, was it like a, a little mini altar type thing? Presumably had statues. Yeah, but what a strange way. I'm sure they had their reasons, but why is this, like you say, all plain? That's all plain. And this is heavily decorated. It is um, really cool. I like this. Yeah. Oh, that door's ajar. Ooh. <laughs> so, if you've been following our channel, particularly over the last couple of months, Alison seems to always find certain rooms. What rooms do you always find? The pooper. But you've not found one quite this modern. <laughs> or that small. Modern pooper. It's usually the garde loo hole in the floor. So what were you we saying before you found the toilet? Before poop gate. The ornateness. Yeah. The prettiness. It is. I mean, these bits the detail, are really yeah. lovely carvings. And they've got shields on the wall all the way around. And little gargoyles on their buttresses. <laughs> Who does that remind you of? I don't know. Think God. It's nothing like God. God's a white head. How do you know what God looks like? Anyway, it's, it's got long hair and long beards, but think, think God. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. <laughs> Don't you think that looks like Morgan Freeman? Yeah. What's next? Ah. That would be telling. You'll have to wait and see. So, my love. I believe this is where we're going. This set of gates? This. I don't think we actually get in the gates here, but yeah. 
What's this then? Ancient thermal baths. Ooh, can we go for a swim? No. Well, we're in. We're in. Yeah. Oh, by the way, we've not mentioned. What's that? So we mentioned we got the ticket things, but it's quite easy because you get like a little barcode thing on yeah. email or that you just show the guy, just scans it and you just go in. It's really easy. But this is the Roman baths. Yeah. But no water. No. So we won't be going for a swim here anyway. Sadly not, no. No. That might have to wait until the end of the video. This is a proper ruin though, isn't it? Yeah. Because you were saying they built all houses on top of it and... Yeah. Well, it's the same as everywhere else, isn't it? They have things at, like basements, like at Bois, with the medieval basement, mm. they built a modern building on top or adapted modern buildings. They just yeah. built medieval buildings on the top and had to kind of rescue what they could. Mm. Cool though. Parasite dwellings, I believe it called them here. <laughs> We'll have to live somewhere, I suppose, but what's next? Oh! Because I'm getting impatient now to see the big ah, thing. No, no, you've just got to work up to it. Next stop on the uh, guided <laughs> tour of our is... An amphitheatre. An amphitheatre. Or, as they call it in Arles, a Roman one. Ancient theatre. An ancient amphitheatre. It's one of the half circle ones, or semicircle. Yeah. We just need to find where to get in. Okay, following you. He's in. in. Yeah. Begin. I was going to say free to get in, not free to get in, but. No. If you pay to come in here, well, here and our last spectacular item which is yet to be seen mm. is on a two for one ticket right. you buy one ticket anyway of nine euros i believe and it covers this and the but in our 19 euros day past arles or whatever you call it yes we get to come and see this even when they use this still yeah as a theater yeah very cool yeah it takes the edge off it a little bit the originality Hey, see that originality? Why having the the modern scaffold scaffolding the and and stage thing on it? But still, cool. I'd I'd love to see something here. Mm. That'd be phenomenal. I mean, well, actually, watch a show here. When we come back in summer. Yeah. When we come back in summer. Yeah. Like a Roman architectural junkyard, doesn't it? Yeah. Just a Roman dump. Bit, yeah, just bits of old Roman stuff. Just kind of but chucked look, everywhere. But look how clear the carvings are still on some of them. Oh, some of it's incredible. Oh, by the way, this is the the the, the theatre thing just there. If you just come over the back, that's cool. It's just. Yeah, it's just bizarre the way it's just dumped here. Kind of almost unloved. This tower bit yeah. looks much nicer from the other side. It's got decoration on it. Well, that's kind of the theatre. Not much to see apart from obviously, the theatre area. That's it, really cool to watch something in there. Yeah, let's but go back we... this way to the exit. Yeah. And then we'll take you to the pièce de résistance. Turn the camera to the other side because yeah, you've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it. <laughs> this is what I've been looking forward to all day. It's basically a bloody great Roman Colosseum. You just gave me a bit of a fright. Why is that? Well, when I you... said you can walk round it but not in it? Yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't mean oh. literally. I just don't know where we actually get in and I was just following everybody else. Do you know what makes me laugh? What's that? if we are literally walking the whole way around this back to where we started. Yeah, probably. Right. There does seem to be a lot of scaffolding. That's not scaffolding, lovely. That's seating. That's modern seating. OK. The only thing I've got to say is there's a lot, of, a lot modern of modern seating. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm really confused because yeah. ah, that is where we've come up. That's where we came up. 
We didn't come up there, we came out there. Yeah, that's what I just said. Yeah, that and one. the door's here. So, yeah. So, we, we should have, have literally there. just walked the whole way around. Oh, well, yeah. we've got to see all sides. We're in. To the first floor in the tower. Okay. The tower? Wow, that what window's so Good Lord. In. All the fossils in the stone, monkey. Small steps. Small steps. <laughs> oh, wow. Gosh. That's incredible. It is. I might guess you'd find the cat. Oh, hey. no, he, he, he says no. It's the feral. So we come into the tower, and that confused me. Because mm. my brain was kind of like doing the, why do they need a tower in a... Roman Colosseum y thing. Mm -hmm. But you read on the board out there that this was also then reused as a town, a fortified town almost. There were four, there's still three remaining apparently. What towns? <laughs> no towers. Oh, towers. <laughs> I was going to say, what, there's four of these in the world? No. So there's three towers left, the four towers. Gotcha. Okay, well, let's go and see the three remaining towns. Well, blow me, sorry. We said we were going to go up a tower, but we seem to have just ended up in the outer wall of the Colosseum. I didn't see I know see it's the an amphitheatre. Of... They call this officially an amphitheatre, but I, I can't. But we noticed, sorry about the wind, but we noticed there's a set of stairs that's got a gate uh, across it. Okay. So... No, apparently we can't go up the tower anymore. Why is a bit naughty? What about those? Are oh, they right. open? Uh, no, that's a closed door at the top. This is phenomenal. It's an incredible place. Yeah. It's not... What how do I put it? It's not much to see as such. It's very repetitive all the way around. It is. But it is one of those places where you just kind of like we are now just want to sit and stare at it and use your imagination yeah to imagine it as the the original theater not when they had <laughs> built on every yeah. level with well, even that would have been incredible but yeah yeah, yeah true what a day though mm. full on been yeah it's been a very busy day i glad to get walking. back to the motorhome mm. But that's not the end of the video. There's one last thing we've got to do. Yes. Very important. And we'll see you there. Well, in typical finding Xanadu fashion, fashion, this hasn't turned out how we planned it. Didn't go to plan. So, the end of this video was supposed to be this amazing scene mm. of us coming down and, well, coming to see the Mediterranean. That we have missed with the greatly. beach in the beautiful sunshine that we had <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> yep. It's not so sunny our today. Toes. <laughs> it's our toes in the sea. Freezing cold, piddling down the rain. But look, um, yeah, we've not seen the Mediterranean in three months. There it is. It's cold. It's wet. Let's go home. We're gonna love you and leave you. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna manage to wave goodbye to you all with this umbrella because this wind's <laughs> I'll, gonna blow I'll it away. Back. So. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you next week. Take care. See you next Sunday.